Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Here we go. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. At Barclays Center, the fans here in Brooklyn amped up for their nets. With the shot, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. There are not many better on the offensive class than Howard. He's a flat-out beast, especially if you don't box him out. Now here's Simmons. Here's Irving. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. To the middle. Here's Howard. Over Drummond. The rebound by the Nets. If you look at the leaders in rebounding, it's almost a sure thing that Drummond's name is going to be near the top of that list. And that's the kind of impact on the ball. Oh. oh, look at the big guy getting tricky. Drummond doesn't waste a chance to get creative at the rim. That's pretty impressive for a big guy. Here's Howard. Pass to Davis. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Outside Irving. Now Drummond. And oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. James in the post. And it's sent back by Drummond. Drummond likes to be in the middle of the action at both ends of the floor, playing defense and gobbling up rebounds. He makes a lot of good defensive plays. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Drummond, the screen for three, Durant. It's good from long range. Right back at you, Durant motivated to put it right in his opponent's face. No better way to do it than with the three of his own. LeBron with the bucket. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. In the corner, Drummond with it. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I got a chance to chat a little bit with Frank Vogel. He talked about the matchup problems Kevin Durant poses for them. He pointed out that it's always tricky because you can't be as physical with him as you'd like to since Durant's automatic at the free throw line. So while he wants his guys to be aggressive on KD, they'll also need to be smart above all else. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. Boy, that's an example of Durant's basketball IQ and awareness, both platinum level. Good D by Drummond. And so Simmons will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Curry outside. And James pulls it down. There's 138 left to play here in the first. It's Durant on the wing. Inside. And stolen by LeBron to the paint and stolen by Simmons. Pull up jumper. Down low. The kick out to Irving and stolen by LeBron. Bunk for three. Good on the triple. Nothing quite as good as seeing Monk shoot that three ball. I mean, fantastic at measuring those long range shots up and knocking them down. James looking it over. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. To the inside. And that one's good by Davis. Boy, AD showing you how strong and willing to work he is because that was a difficult bucket there. And it's Drummond missing. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Nets trail by five. Curry with him. Westbrook picks him up. Drummond the screen. And that one's good, Irving. You know, the threat of Irving's drive can open up looks for him from the perimeter. And he is a gifted scorer, folks. 
drills the three-pointer. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assist. And here's KD for three. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Lakers lead by five. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for them early on. And the other thing, though, is their execution in terms of their ball movement has been flawless. Sets up a lot of easy scoring opportunities. And it's Davis with the jam. Creating separation using the bounce. That's a skill that AD's developed over the years. It's stolen by Davis. Monk with the ball. Picked up by Aldridge. Here's Davis. Plays it up and banks it in. Davis has got four this quarter. And you look at some of the most unbreakable records in NBA history. Clark Scott Skiles with 30 assists in one game. Who's going to beat that? That's a hard one to top. I mean, 30 dimes in one game. I mean, that is just amazing. One, you got to pass it well. And two, you got to have great shooters around you. Westbrook had a game with 24 assists last year, but that's still a far cry from 30. I think that may very well be an untouchable record, Kevin. around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Outside Griffin. Another shot. Aldrich. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldrich. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Brooklyn Nets are creating a fresh legacy. Kevin Durant says it's new energy. We're one of the first teams in Nets history where fans are expecting us to do good things. The basketball culture is deep in Brooklyn, and they're looking for a team to latch on to. Well, guys, it looks like they found a good one. I agree, David. Thanks. Here's Davis. He shoots again, and the layup is up and in. Davis has got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And both free throws good for Mills. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Davis in the corner. Doesn't get it to drop for him. The Nets go the other way with it. In the corner, it's Harris. High post shot. That one a little long. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Here's James. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. LeBron's got seven. Really good court awareness that time from Anthony Davis. Seeing the floor and making the right decision. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And, Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings, the most all-time. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that. Takes a three. The Lakers with the rebound. But no one around him. Six the three-pointer. Three. He's got nine. You've got to be up on Monk all the time. I mean, even when the pass has not gotten to him yet, you need to be there before it arrives because he's ready to let it go when he catches it. 
149 left in the second quarter. James with it. Guarded now by Irving. Misses off the right iron. Fires the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Irving's got his second basket. Well, the team does a nice job supporting what Kyrie Irving does. I mean, they've got total trust in his ability, so I think they work a lot harder to set him up. Outside Durant. Pass to Claxton. Down low. Here's Simmons. Nice pass. Run him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Always a treat to watch Simmons operate in screen and roll set. I mean, his IQ is quite honestly off the charts. And an important part of every team's game. And we'll look at the hustle stats for Brooklyn. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. Yeah, the other thing, though, is they have attacked in the open floor. They're definitely getting a lot of easy ones that way. And again, the Lakers, no good. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. The shot's good. Well, I tell you what, Kyrie is an absolute magician inside. I mean, it's obvious that he works on his finishing, but he works on big guy drills, too. That makes him even more impossible to deal with. I don't know if we've seen a better finisher in the history of the game that's 6'5 or short. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's on LeBron James. You just can't foul Harris there because he's almost automatic from the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And this season, he's maintained very good form at the line, shooting at about an 83% clip. Yeah, guys, I mean, he's been a very steady hand for them when it comes to his free throw shooting. Davis. And it's Irving with the rebound. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. For Brooklyn, they have been all four of their chances so far in this one. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. One of the things they've done, guys, is taken pride in their free throw shooting this season, and rightfully so. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Los Angeles Lakers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We'll return shortly. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. To Simmons and Simmons slams it in. A precision pass with Curry, also excellent at seeing his guys when they're open. Pass to Drummond. Durant with it for the tie, and Davis sends it back. They retain possession. Six on the shot clock. It's Curry with the drive. Drummond. Oh, great point. And it's all evened up. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And more than one observer, Greg, has called Irving the most entertaining player in the game. What do you think? A lot of competition for that distinction. But Irving does some things that no one else can, at least at his level. And then you never know when he's going to give us a juicy soundbite. Good on the shot. And, you know, I think this is exactly what you want Howard to do. I mean, when somebody's open, show that you're willing to give the ball up. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Davis, of course, is a superstar at both ends of the court. Brown James says his ability to guard anybody on the floor, one through five, take the challenge to guard on the perimeter and continue to protect the paint, it's hard to score on him. Guys? D.A., he is a lead in every way, as are you. Thank you. And Malik Monk is going to pick up the foul. 
That's foul number two for him. Team seven. The Nets making a switch here. For your Nets. Boy. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Out to the wing. Back to Simmons. Outside for Griffin. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Davis with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. To the right side. Now Monk. And it's Kyrie Irving with the rebound. Pass to Mills. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. His first foul. Yeah, you know, the Australian Mills continues to prove his value. I mean, he's extremely good in the locker room. He hustles all the time. And he's uh, a guy who earns and um, demands respect because of his attitude and consistency. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Pass to Monk. Right side Davis. In the corner, it's Monk. Back to LeBron. Who scores a six bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's at high. On the wing, Monk. Last two minutes to play. Here's Davis. And it's sent back by Aldridge. When Aldridge is in the neighborhood. You've got to be careful shooting. I mean, proving there that he's capable of blocking shots. Irving, good. So impressive. The, the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah, you know, battling back is about staying the course, and their attitude never changed. The drive by Aldridge. Pass to Brown. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And it's a three-point Brooklyn lead. And there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. And that one hits back iron. And so Brown will bring it up for the Nets. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Knocks down the three ball. Irving's got the lead up to six now for the Nets. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Back to Mills. And he uses the glass on the way. Mills has got four this quarter. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers, Lakers retain possession. Some great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Assist. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Outstanding awareness and a terrific finish. To the paint. And Davis sends it back. Davis so good with his timing and length to get up and deny shots. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his first foul. His first foul. 14 foul. Substitutions for your net. 11 seconds left on the Drummond. third. Ben Simmons. Drummond the screen. The kick out to Brown. Shoots the three. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. We come back right after the... Come on, fans. We've reached the fourth quarter. What has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Give it everything we got. Lakers trailed by six. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. And a scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. You're
chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks. During the break, this was what was going on in Steve Nash's huddle. We told them this is a game of runs. It's a game of momentum. We may have the lead now, but I'm telling you guys, it can evaporate in a hurry. Let's close this thing out. Kevin? Thank you, David. And it's Davis missing. Nets leading by six. Durant with a wide open look. And it's off from three point range. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Davis. That shot off the mark. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Pass to KD. Outside Curry. Inside. And Drummond throws it down. Another day, another chance at the rim for Drummond. This is where he likes to do his best either. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And some stats here, guys, as the scoring breakdown for Brooklyn. Boy, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. Yeah, and it doesn't hurt to be on fire from beyond. They have been really good from the three-point line. And, you know, this guy simply does not age. The Bahan remains a dominant force in this league, despite being in the league since 2003. Westbrook with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Safety move. Brooklyn with the rebound. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Outside, Simmons. To the middle. And stolen by LeBron. To the paint. The putback. Davis on the follow. Well, Davis, one of the hardest working and best rebounders in the NBA. Showing you great effort that time. And it's slammed in by Davis. Poise under pressure to produce at the right time in the big time. A.D. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. It's not going to go for him. Simmons with the defensive effort. Curry with it. That's what picks him up. Shots good by Durant. I think we're all aware of Durant's in the gym range as a shooter. I mean, seriously, I don't think there's a shot he can't make. To the inside. Finish off the break. And now it's a 10-point Nets lead. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. And that shot isn't the one they should be taking if they want to make this comeback happen. For three, Durant. Rebounded by the Lakers. And stolen by Drummond. In the corner, Simmons with it. And stolen by James. Pass to Davis. Here's Westbrook. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Kevin Durant. Defenders really struggle to keep up with Russell Westbrook. It's probably because he's such a dynamic and aggressive athlete. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that brings them within single digits. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Outside Irving. Outside for KD. Shot clock at five. And again, it's the Nets missing. Lakers trail by nine. Down low. Durant with the steal. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's foul number two for him. So it's Brooklyn now. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Here's Truman. Davis has tremendous versatility and limp, and he uses both to annoy and bother shooters. Here's James. 
with the drive. And it's sent back by Drummond. Here's James. Makes it off the glass. Now, here is Irving. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would see it. No question. That would be all she wrote. Drops in the layup for two. Well, I tell you what, he's one of the best scorers in the game, and I love how Irving continues to be in attack mode. Davis. Rebound Andre Drummond. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Irving. Substitutions for your nets. Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. From deep, James. And here's Harris from the arc. Also Westbrook with the rebound. The drive by James. And James throws it down hard. Well, he seems ageless at times, guys. Somehow, some way, LeBron continues to rip off these insane sequences time and time again. And so it's Brooklyn with the win. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. Yeah, I mean, there were some times that that momentum.